We're following up on allegations against a Warner Robins councilman up for re-election. Charlie Bibb is accused of breaking election law by sitting inside a precinct wearing campaign gear. Fornia Abrar shares more from tonight's Board of Elections meeting. Almost every seat was filled at Tuesday's Board of Elections meeting. Folks were curious about two things. What will happen with the four uncounted provisional ballots? And to hear public allegations against an incumbent who is accused of illegal campaigning. Charlie Bill didn't call. Charlie Bill decided I'm going to walk down there and I'm going to knock on the door. Every ballot cast should be valid. You know, nothing that, uh, nothing that the candidate did should make anybody vote not count. To me, it's inexcusable. I don't know if did that arrogant or I work for him to do something like that. During public comments, four spoke up about the allegations against Councilman Charlie Bibb, who's up for re-election. Kristen Kiefer spoke first about allegedly seeing the candidate at a precinct before polls closed. You know, we passed each other on the way out as well. I got a clear look at him then too. Um, you know, and at some point, like I said, I, I looked at my own pictures and in sending them and realized like, these are probably kind of terrible pictures, but what am I going to do? I can't get any closer. All four said the councilman should be held accountable if the accusations are true. And I mean, the, the same rules should apply to everyone in elections and, you know, in, in life in general. Um, you know, I think our public officials should hold themselves to that same standard. Four provisional ballots left Bibb's race post to at large undecided until Tuesday. Two accepted ballots were cast for Bibb's opponent, L. Ellis Carter. That left Bibb in the lead with one vote. However, the board says they will conduct a thorough investigation into the allegations against the councilman. Through the board meeting process, from what we heard from public comment, we are concerned about that and we'll put together a team, a committee to go out do the investigation. Despite the board's investigation of the allegations against Bibb, he is still the councilman representing the Warner Robins citywide post two seat. Reporting in Houston County, Fadi Habra, 13 WMAZ News. All right, so now that the Houston County Board of Elections has certified the local races, those results will then be sent to the State Board of Elections for official certification. And once that happens, L. Ellis Carter can ask for a recount. The next Board of Elections meeting is on December 5th at 5.30 p.m. Some central Georgia cities are preparing for runoffs that will roll into December. That includes Forsyth, where voters will settle the post three city council race between Lois Allen and Rosemary Walker. And in Washington County, a mayoral runoff in Davisboro. Uh, that runoff is between uh, Randy McNeely and Valerie Gale Brown. Current Mayor Sandra Braswell was defeated in the election, so the runoff is between Randy McNeely and Valerie Brown. Early voting starts November 27th. The actual runoff election day is Tuesday, December 5th. There is a third candidate for Bibb County Sheriff in next year's election. DeAndre Hall is a former investigator for the Sheriff's Office. Says he served more than a decade with the Sheriff's Office, part of it as a violent crimes investigator. He says his top priorities are increasing manpower and staff retention, improving the jail and boosting youth programs and community engagement. Also running another former Bibb County officer, Chris Paul. Current Sheriff David Davis already announced he's running for re-election. New tonight, state election officials preparing to defend Georgia's electronic voting system again after a federal judge ordered a trial to decide if the system is safe enough from potential hackers. Our sister station in Atlanta reports the non-jury trial will happen in January. The judge says the security breach in Coffee County can lead to Georgia ballot marking going haywire. And in Pennsylvania, Dominion voting system did not accurately match up ballot QR codes with voters' correct choices. Right now, the Secretary of State's office isn't commenting on the decision for the trial. 